Okay, hello, my name is Greg Demchak. I'm the product manager for Synchro Software, and I'm kicking off our first 15-minute Friday with some basic tips on keeping your Synchro up to date, um, both within the application, making sure you've got your latest drivers installed, and I wanna cover some basic settings to get um, the best performance out of Synchro. Uh, we're gonna do these meetings regularly, and they're gonna be short and hopefully sweet and to the point. So I'm gonna jump right in to Synchro software. So the first thing you should do uh, if you're running Synchro is, is make sure you've got the latest version installed. You can just go up to the help menu, go to about, uh, check this dialog here, and version 5.011 is the latest version. Um, if you don't have the latest version, you can do a check for updates. Um, here I have no updates available. If you see that there is an update available, um, you'll be directed to download and get the latest version. So always make sure you've got the latest version of the software installed. Uh, the other thing you want to do is if you're using um, plugins for uh, P6, uh, you want to go to our website, Navisworks and Revit as well. So uh, we have 2015 version of Navis, 2014 and 2015 for Revit. The project-wise plugin is actually installed when you install Synchro. So that'll come with the, the installer. Um, it's just an option in the installer. So if you need to do that, you want to go back to the installer and reinstall that. Uh, the MicroStation plugin uh, is also here, and SketchUp is also available with the installer for Pro 5. All right, so make sure you've got all your plugins up to date uh, from our website. Now I want to talk about making sure you've got the latest video driver. What you want to do is go to your device manager and we're going to check for your display adapter and right here you're going to see what is your video driver. I'm running an NVIDIA Quadro K1000M. What you don't want to do is click this button within Windows to automatically update. That just does not work with the update drivers. So check your driver version here and you're going to use this information to verify you get an updated version uh, from the NVIDIA website. Okay so again we want to use the NVIDIA website and driver not this automatic Windows update. It just tends not to work. So I'm just going to do a screen cap of that version so I can compare it later browse to NVIDIA and right there at the top we have a link to the drivers. Uh, we know what I'm looking for. It's a Quadro um, mobile notebooks. It's a notebook series. We want that uh, K, K1000M. All right, so we got that from our driver list and I'm going to go with performance driver. Should do it. It's going to find my driver and this is a newer version. Check that there. I'm going to download and just run it. Uh, drivers come out regularly from NVIDIA and, and these do have a direct impact on uh, interactions with uh, the video performance, the, the 3D window within, within Synchro. So having the updated drivers uh, is just something to always check and make sure you're running. Uh, this should prevent uh, things like crashes and uh, slow performance. <clears throat> So I'm just going to run this driver installer. Okay, once the driver's been installed, We 
we can go back to our control panel, check our NVIDIA driver, look at the properties, and driver stat should be updated. This is my new version. If I compare that with the old one, I'm just going to do a quick screen cap. And there you see uh, I've gone from March to April. All right, so just something to always do. Just keep your drivers up to date. Now I'm going to jump back into Synchro and talk about a, a couple other options here. Um, look and feel. I like to turn off this advanced Gantt chart style. This is going to give you more like a flat bar um, appearance on your Gantt chart. Uh, as far as the drivers, um, I will move between DirectX 9 and OpenGL 2. Typically, I'm going to stick with DirectX 11. The first two, OpenGL and DirectX, um, you only want to use those if you are not interested in seeing any special effects like shadows or ambient occlusion. Um, with anti-aliasing, I like to go in here. If you, um, if you disable it, you will get slightly better performance. When it is enabled, you never need to go above 2x. I find the 16x and 8x don't give you any noticeable benefit. The other thing you want to make sure is you've always got static model enabled. If you uncheck that, you will tend to get slower performance with spinning, orbiting, and panning. Okay, so if for some reason you notice your model is not spinning or orbiting uh, fast, you want to go into options and check that static model um, checkbox. Always make sure that's enabled. And that should give you good spin performance on your model. All right, another option, uh, transparency. You should have a depth peeling for four. That looks good. Um, no need to really mess with that. Um, in the legend option here, you can actually customize what does the legend say for your resource appearance profile. So if you don't like that long-winded term, resource appearance profile, you can customize that. It can say legend, uh, it can say anything you want. Um, I tend to get a lot of questions about that. It's just easy. Come in here to legend and you can customize that. All right. <clears throat> Other things worth noting, uh, under rendering effects, um, I find that if I dial, if you are going to use ambient occlusion, I dial that number way down um, to 0 0.02, 0 0.01. It will give it a subtle effect that will appear more like you might get in a tool like Revit uh, or Navisworks. If the number is too high, uh, the graphic artifacts kind of get a bit strange. You can kind of see here on the screen. Uh, but if you dial that number down from a 1 to a lower value, it's a little bit more subtle. It'll give you kind of the effect you're looking for. Uh, with shadows, uh, turn on the jitter. This gives us slightly better. Um, with the AVI export, um, I like to turn off this checkbox to ask me to unselect objects when exporting the AVI. Um, it's easy to have something selected, and uh, you don't want to have that selected object show up as selected when you export. Um, and I don't think I need to be asked about that. So if you turn that off, it'll automatically deselect anything you have selected. Um, from a printing standpoint, make sure this print text labels on Gantt chart is unchecked. This will just uh, allow that when you print your Gantt chart, everything will zoom to fit and look properly on the, on the screen. Okay, that's, um, that's what I've got for today. I know it's short, but hopefully that gives you some, uh, some good tips on some settings. And uh, make sure you've got the latest version of Synchro installed and you've got the latest drivers installed. And with that, I'm happy to take any questions for the next few minutes. Thank you. Bye.